In this video, we're going to discuss how to calculate the materials quantity variance, which is also known as the materials yield variance. So let's say we've got a company called the Chocolate Factory that manufactures chocolate bars, and the management has set some standards. They've said that the company should pay $10 per pound of chocolate, and the company should use 0 0.05 pounds of chocolate whenever it makes a chocolate bar. Okay, so those are standards they've been set by the executives. Now, what actually happens during the period is the company paid $48,000 for 4,000 pounds of chocolate, and then it used all 4,000 pounds of chocolate, 100% of it, to make 60,000 chocolate bars. Now, how do we go about calculating the materials quantity variance? I like to set it up like this, where I'll have, you've got your actual quantity times actual price, actual quantity times standard price, and standard quantity times standard price. You only need the two on the right here to calculate our quantity variance. It's gonna be the difference between the actual quantity times standard price and standard quantity times standard price. I know that's a mouthful. Let's start going into the numbers. So if we go to the actual quantity, we see that it was 4,000 pounds. Okay, that's the actual quantity, so we'll take 4,000 and write it in there. And then the standard price was $10 per pound. Okay, $10. So that if we multiply that out, that gives us 40,000 over here. Okay, now let's go to standard quantity times standard price. Well, the standard price is gonna be the same. That's gonna be $10. So we just carry that over. Then the standard quantity, now think about it. This is in pounds, our actual quantity. We, we did it in pounds, 4,000 pounds. So we have to convert and say, okay, we made 60,000 chocolate bars. What would have been the standard amount of pounds? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 60,000 and we're going to multiply it by 0 0.05. Because when we make 60,000 chocolate bars, we had said our standard, our company standard, was we should use 0 0.05 pounds of chocolate per bar. So we multiply that by 60,000 to see how much we should have used to make 60,000 chocolate bars, how many pounds of chocolate. And if you multiply that out, that comes out to 3,000 pounds. So then our standard quantity, given that we made 60,000 chocolate bars, is 3,000 pounds. Don't, don't, don't get fooled, don't put the 60,000 here, because remember, we're, we wanna compare pounds to pounds. Okay, or if you had kilograms to kilograms, whatever it is, is the measure. So 3,000 times $10, and this is how many pounds it should have taken to make 60,000 chocolate bars, times the standard price of chocolate bar is $30,000. 30,000. So now we compare, we compare our 30,000 to our 40,000, we see there's a $10,000 difference. There's a $10,000 difference. So now the question is, is this a favorable or unfavorable? So let's think about it. We, our actual quantity was 4,000 pounds, okay? But the standard says that we really should have only used 3,000 pounds of chocolate to make all these chocolate bars. It, it shouldn't have taken us 4,000 pounds. So somewhere, a thousand pounds was wasted or lost or maybe it was poor quality and we had to throw it away or something but whatever the case this is going to be an unfavorable variance okay so now we have a quantity variance here that is unfavorable of ten thousand dollars so that tells us that hey we used more material more chocolate than it should have taken to make this amount of chocolate bars and by the way if you're curious what would be the total variance uh, then we need to know the price variance. So our price variance, we had $48,000 was the actual quantity times the actual price. And so then that would be a difference of 8,000. And we paid more than we should have, so it's unfavorable. So if you were just curious what the actual total variance is, uh, that's the price variance and the quantity variance. You can calculate this when the materials used and uh, the materials purchased are the same. So that would be $18,000 unfavorable. That's the total variance. But again, the quantity variance is 10,000 unfavorable.